The play Y option wheel out of the gun Y off trips path formation, also known as U trips, is one of the best plays in Madden. And we're going to show you why in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire U trips offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. You can get all of my offensive and defensive ebooks by becoming a Patreon member today for just uh, 10 bucks. It's only 10 bucks to be a member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. So, what we're going to do first show this play against man coverage. We'll show it to you as well. Again, zone coverage, one of the best plays in the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to block our tight end. This is going to allow us to pick up most of the blitzes in this game. And then we are going to streak our slot receiver. From there, we're just going to drag our outside trips receiver. And this is going to create a very well-spaced route combo that is going to allow us to attack man and zone coverage. Now, our first read on the play is always this little quick running back wheel. And then we're going to be looking to this drag. As you can see, the drag route this year does a really good job of consistently attacking man-to-man -man coverage for easy gains. Now, one of the other things that's very popular right now in Madden is to utilize some type of maybe roll coverage like this. If they don't have safety help up and over the top of their defenders, then what you're going to notice with this coverage shell is I am going to be able to consistently throw this running back wheel if he is matched up against a linebacker. So I'll show you the same basic setup. And what you're going to notice now is he's matched up on a linebacker when he cuts inside. I'm just going to lob the ball up and over the top of the defender. And even though that's a safety at the linebacker position, he is going to consistently be able to win. So the best thing that they can do defensively to combat this is to play a press coverage, but they're going to shade their coverage up and over the top. And one of the other things they're going to want to do is probably put a hard flat defender on the field because the hard flat defender is going to make it so that I can't snap throw this running back. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I send five, right, this is kind of the meta blitz right now. What you're going to notice is I'm going to block my running back or uh, my tight end. And this running back quick throw wheel is going to be wide open to the flat. And I can take it for some easy yardage just like that. So what they're going to have to do to combat that little quick throw is they're going to have to shade their coverage up and over the top. But they're also going to have to put some hard flats out there. And this is where this concept really starts to become very effective. Once they start to drop people in zones to defend the running back wheel, everything else on the play is going to open up. One of the things that's going to open up is this sharp cutting post route. And what you want to do is you just want to click on and user catch it over the middle of the field. All I'm doing is just trying to cut in front of the defender and basically just cut the post off against man coverage. It's going to very significantly help when we get into, you know, later in the year and you're going to start to see people utilizing KOs. So it's going to help you avoid KOs, which is really important in this year's game because KOs are going to be a thing. But uh, you have the post route against man coverage. The other route that you have, um, if they try to use that post route, is you have this little check down, this drag route over the middle of the field, very effective at beating man coverage, even though Warren Moon can't throw a five-yard pass, even though he's one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Shout out to passing thresholds and all that fun stuff. Uh, but what you'll see right here, inside pass lead, that's crazy. That's actually crazy that he missed that throw. Um, you can see he's open. I'm going to start talking about zone coverage. Okay, so zone coverage, what you're going to notice here is same basic thing. So you have the streak, and then the streak's going to pull the yellows back, and you can throw this little check down drag right underneath yellow zones this year. The only way they can truly stop the drag is if they have two yellows and two hard flats, and they have to shade underneath. And one of those yellows is generally going to be their user, and their user is going to have to basically be underneath the coverage um, so he's going to have to stay underneath on this drag. So you see the user goes to the drag and then I can throw this post over the middle for a big play against this coverage. This is why U trips are so good. The spacing is apt actually really, really, really effective. Now, another popular concept that I've started to notice, uh, over the course of the last couple of weeks in, in the game is this idea of manning up the solo wide receiver in U trips and then basically playing a cover two to try to play the quick throw to the running back. However, if the running back wheel goes up field, you're going to see right here that window right up and over the top of the defender. And you will be surprised at how many busted coverages people will have if you are playing in U-trips. And the main reason why there's so many busted coverages when playing U-trips is because the formation is such that it gives you a lot of things to think about and a lot of motion snapping and stuff like that. So you see here, they kind of fall asleep on the running back and this wheel can get wide open over the top if they're not playing a disciplined coverage system. So the beauty of U-Trips is the spacing and the ability to, to leverage the spacing to really be able to attack any defense that your opponent is going to put on the field. And you also have great pass protection formulas because you have 
Um, you have this this uh, little running back and tight end, one on each side, and you have great sharp cutting routes that beat man coverage consistently year over year. This is why U trips, in my opinion, is one of the best offenses in the game right now. And if you want to learn exactly how I run this offense, make sure to join the Patreon. That'll get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to the ebooks. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.